We're over 12 hours into the shutdown. They say the shutdown could last past Christmas. I'm fully expecting it to last quite a bit longer than that. But I want to talk about some people will try to tell you that this government shutdown is a, is a partial shutdown, which is true. All shutdowns start off as a partial shutdown, even the ones before they started using the term partial shutdown. But why are all shutdowns before this looked as so, so much worse? Well, I'll tell you what. They're all the same. They really are. All government shutdowns start off as a partial shutdown. And then if the shutdown was to close a reopen today, if they were to strike a deal today, what you would start seeing is not much would be affected. Your parks that it, that had probably been told to close wouldn't even close. So people saying, oh, it's just a park closing. But let's talk about if this shutdown was to go longer. You'd start seeing Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, the United States Post Office would close. I mean, you wouldn't get no fucking mail. Means if your grandma or you're on Medicaid or any or Medicare, either one, you won't get no health insurance. Your veteran hospitals and benefits will start to drop. Now those things will start happening if the government shutdown was to last. <coughs> those things would start to happen if the government shutdown would last more than a month, which I fully expect it will. Then your food stamp program at first. People will get their food stamps in the very short term. They'll continue to get their food stamps. And then the, the second progression will be that, that they'll subsidize their subsidize, um, meals for them, meaning that they'll give them uh, a raffle to say that they can go get food at McDonald's or fast food restaurants, which is actually costing the taxpayer more money because it's much more expensive to pay for them to eat hot food, which is your fast food places. And you probably wouldn't put limitations on it because you'd put on your burden on them. So you wouldn't put limitations. So people would tend that are poor would tend to pull up to a McDonald's drive thru and order every goddamn thing that's in the restaurant and probably call their friends and order some more food. So that would obviously, this is how shutting the government down tends to raise the national debt because the things that kick in tend to cost more money than the regular programs, which is just providing people with um, the food stamps that, have they been deemed necessary? Well, since no one is going to be able to deem what is necessary, you just have to give them an endless amount because and take them at their word. Well, you know, taking them, taking people at their word um, can tend to be bad things. So at some point, the military um, will start losing losing their pay. Uh, that hasn't happened yet, but it will happen. And then they'll be freeloaded. They'll be they'll um they'll be getting their money at a back owed when it when the government kicks back open. That is if the government stays around two months closed. And here's the big kicker: um, the Mueller investigation at some point won't be funded. Is anyone following this? The Mueller investigation will not be funded. I didn't really realize. How obvious this was. Why would our president of the United States want to shut down the, his own government that he's in control of? Because the Mueller investigation is federally funded. Need I say more? 